Good morning. Just bear with me while I get this sent over to the other group, my other group, my VIP group. Today we're doing our February Stamp Club projects. Um, and we're going to be using some new products. So I'm kind of excited for that. I will um, show you all the new product here in just a second. getting somewhere <laughs> okay so that's posted okay so this is the cover so for stamp club let me explain what stamp club is so stamp club is a six to eight month commitment depending on how many ladies I have in club and you agree to spend $25 a month before tax and shipping and um Every month I create a card and a 3D project. I also don't know where it's at, but there is also a PDF, a project sheet that goes along with this and I've misplaced mine. So, but anyways, there's a project sheet. So when they get, when you get your project, if you're a part of stamp club, you get a kit just like this. It's everything you need to create this except for the stamp sets. Okay. The ribbon, the can I even have the candy in here. Everything is in here. And then there's a project sheet that tells everything I use and the measurements and everything. Okay. And then, um, so they get everything to make it the card and the stamp club, the 3d project, and you get an envelope for your, um, projects. So let me show you the new stuff. So the new stuff coming out, this is coming out March 1st to customers and it's called waves of the ocean. And so there is, there is a, sorry about that. So there is a stamp set and dies that coordinate together. Okay. And there is um, a package of rhinestones. These are called the rhinestone wave basic jewels. Lots of different shades of blues and light greens. There is some foil paper. Um, it's Coastal Cabana, Night of Navy, and Silver. And then there is Designer Series Paper, which is what we're using on today's project. So, I set this up so you could see both sides. Um, maybe, yeah. Let me make sure. Yeah, I did. So there's this one, and that's the back. Okay. So I tried to make it to where I wasn't showing you a whole great big piece because they're harder to flip. So I cut them all down to six by six and then alternated them so you could see both sides without having to flip it back and forth. Okay, so that's a new product. Again, this will be available come March 1st and it'll, it's good till May 2nd. Um, it's like a sneak peek. The stamp set and the framelits are going to be in the new catalog. The rhinestones and the paper are not though so those are a while of supplies last okay so let's get started on our projects for today we're gonna of course start with the card first okay let me pull everything out for the card okay so um all the measurements for this pro these projects are on my blog i am um, i post them on there but i for my girls that are in club i print out Oh, <laughs> I print out. Okay. So what I do, this is a save the t paper kind of thing. So I knew I was going to do the coastal cabana as my background card front, but it's going to be covered with the designer series paper like this. So I went ahead and cut my scallop circle from the layering circles out before I'm, um, so like before you glue it, get ready to glue it down. I just went ahead and cut that scallop circle out. And it just saves paper and it's not as bulky also um, and then we're just going to cover it with this designer series paper this is the new paper um, waves of ocean I think is what it's called then I took another piece of coastal cabana and I embossed this one with of course the gingham embossing folder because it's my favorite um, and then we're going to do a little bit of stamping next. Bring in the Pacific Point ink. 
And this greeting for the whale, I brought in the whale punch and I punched it out in Pacific Point. And then I'm bringing the greeting in from, I just had it here. Oh, the whale done stamp set. We're gonna use hoping all your birthday fishes come true. Okay, and I'm just gonna ink it up in Pacific Point and stamp it at the bottom of the circle. And so I just cut a circle that layers perfectly with the Coastal Cabana one so that it would, um, and then I'm just gonna attach these together with my seal, just like that. And then I'm gonna put adhesive on my whale and add him. Okay, so I took the rhinestones and I take a pick tool and grab one of the big ones and just attach it for an eye, just like that. I'm really enjoying my take a pick tool. It took me a little bit to get there, but um, I'm getting there. So next up I need, I guess I need to pull out some more dimensionals. These ones are almost gone. Time to pull out another sheet. I love our dimensionals because there's no waste. You can cut and use the rest of the, you can use the outside so this is card, the card for Stamp Club, okay? So now we're gonna pull in everything else. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our stamping first. And this comes from the Waves of Inspiration stamp set, the new one. It says, you're so totally awesome. Okay, so now we got that part done. I'm just gonna lay it to the side with the candy and the ribbon. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to take our bone folder and we're gonna take, this is a piece of paper, a six by six. So we're gonna fold it corner to corner, just like this. You could score this if you wish, I just eyeball it, okay? So then we're gonna bring this piece, we're gonna take our triangle and bring this piece to where it is straight as straight as possible across here, okay? And then just score it with your bone, or burnish it with your bone folder. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. Bring it up to where it is straight here to make a little, just like this, and then burnish it. You won't see this part, because what we're gonna do is bring this down like this to create the flap that holds it together, okay? And then, so that's the whole project. We're gonna bring in, this is the so, soft succulent ribbon. Okay, and so all I, I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive on the back just because of this tag and stuff, just because I want it to stay in place. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring it around and tie this over here in a knot. Okay, and then I'll bring in my ribbon scissors and trim that. This is how easy this project is. There's no, on this one you don't have to cut or score anything or just use your bone folder. And then you put the candy in there. And these are the little Ghirardelli chocolates. Um, so that is the treat. And this is the card for our projects for Stamp Club this month. If you would like to join Stamp Club or you have questions, please email me. Um, I have a new email. It's stampwithroberta at gmail.com. I updated everything yesterday. So if you have any questions, email me and I will gladly answer them or leave a comment below on the video. And I will come back and answer any questions you have about Stamp Club or about the new product, anything like that. So if you just um, let me know. Thank you.